I just want to ask about France first. We've yeah. just been hearing about Emmanuel Macron's policies. Broadly, is this going to be positive for equities, negative for French bonds? Ah, uh, well, but I mean, possibly at the margin. I, I, to, to be honest, I'm with, I actually think the French election fits into the same narrative you've seen elsewhere, mm. which is mainstream technocracy doesn't motivate voters. So actually, this result fits in with Corbyn, it fits in with Trump, it fits in with UKIP. You know, nationalism motivates. Uh, idealistic social justice motivates. Mm. Labour market reform doesn't. And this is, and in a sense, actually, the mainstream wins when people don't show up to vote. So I think the, the, so we have a structural challenge with democratic regimes that isn't going away, mm -hmm. which is, you know, policies are ultimately about detail. They can be dull. There are not big motivational issues that, that, that motivate electorates. And I think Macron is just illustrative of that, of that again. I mean, at the current juncture in the context of Europe, it's a damn sight better for everybody that we're dealing with Macron rather than dealing with a Le Pen, for mm. sure. But I think there's a more fundamental issue that's, that's still at work everywhere. Right. So if as an investor you're looking at France versus the UK, are you thinking that France is perhaps somewhere more stable to invest at the moment? Or actually, do you still see a lot of uncertainty around that as well? Uh, or is it the case that since we've seen such a rally, I mean, we've seen how much the CAC 40s outperformed the stock 600, yeah. but actually those gains are already priced in. H how are you looking at this? At this? Yeah, I, I would be loath to make any sort of Fre French specific bets, quite frankly. I think most of what's driving equity market performance is still sectoral. Within the financial sector there are some pretty big regional effects so we've seen big outperformance of parts of European financials uh, relative to US financials this year but I would I, I would be loath to I still think Europe has some pretty huge fundamental structural issues to deal with which Macron is entirely aware of mm -hmm. you know the biggest challenge in Europe is we still haven't resolved you know, whether there is a backstop to the sovereign bond market it's sort of conditional guarantees from the ECB conditional on a set of fiscal policies that are dysfunctional. Now, Macron is trying to challenge that, but I think we all realize that his probability of success in genuinely changing fiscal policy in the Eurozone is still a very low probability of success.